Raider Nation, what's good? Raiders Review back again. Hey, today we're going to take a look at Tanner Muse. I've had a ton of requests from you guys to do a film review on him. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's not been easy. Uh, you know, evaluating a guy who played safety in college and is going to play linebacker for us in the NFL. You know, I've watched hours and hours of film. And this one's going to be just a little bit different. I'm not going to really be diving too much into the film because... Like I said, man, he's playing safety in, in college, going to play a linebacker for us in the NFL. So a lot of the film doesn't translate, you know. So this is going to be more of a, you know, an opinion type video. There are some things that he does pretty well that will translate to the linebacker position. But um, there's also some things that I want to talk about that I think he needs to improve on if he's going to succeed at the next level. A lot of you guys tell me, hey, look out for Muse. Look out for Muse. He's going to be starting by the end of the year. Um frankly i don't believe that um i think he has a lot of improvements to make and transitioning to a new position in the nfl is not going to be an easy thing to do so i think it's going to be a few years until we really see muse come into form if he ever does and one of the things that i noticed while watching film is that he's not even really like a full-time player at clemson against alabama he didn't even play half the game so that tells me that clemson thinks that they have a better lineup without him and you'll see him get absolutely torched here by Judy. And this play is a perfect example of why he's not going to be playing safety in the NFL. It's just not, he just doesn't have the quickness. His uh, change of direction is not very good. And that change of direction is one of the biggest things that bothers me. He gets flat footed and kind of stops in his tracks. He doesn't really seem too smooth with his movements. He plays kind of stiff. Um, and so transitioning to linebacker for us, I think he's going to be more of the hybrid type guys covers tight ends and running backs out of the backfield so you know those guys are quick at the nfl level he's going to need to improve on that so this next play i'm not too sure what the defensive scheme was it looks like the guy playing on the end um, is chipping the tight end and has the flat and it looks like he believes that he's going to have help over the top which would be muse in this case um, it doesn't seem like muse reads the play very well and then he gets tripped up and the dude's wide open um, that's another thing about tanner is he just doesn't recognize things very quickly in my opinion and I'll show you some examples of that later on in the video so I mentioned before one of the biggest things that irks me about Muse is his movement on the field um, this is another good example of it he's backpedaling then he gets flat footed and he doesn't you know make a good break on the ball and just seems to kind of stumble around back there I, I just don't know what it is but watching him play I just don't get the sense that he's that athletic and I know his 40 time was impressive a 4-4 four -four. Um, so you know he's fast in a straight line but it doesn't seem like it translates to quickness on the field and you know 40 time doesn't mean anything if you're not fast on the field and he does a good job here of getting to the ball and making the tackle but you'll notice he over pursues kind of stumbles around a little bit and then changes direction and it's lumbering it doesn't look smooth and this next play is another good example of, you know, the flat-footedness. He's kind of standing there, hopping around flat-footed, looking around. He just looks lost. And I've said it plenty of times. I trust in Mayock. I trust in Gruden. And their draft picks, in my opinion, have been great. But this has been the one head-scratcher for me. I'm just not sold yet. And this is in no way trying to be a video hating on news. I want our guys to succeed. I want us to do well. And I've watched more hours of film on Tanner Muse than I have any other player. And I've been preparing for this video for weeks now. Uh, I've wanted to put it out and I just keep having to push the pause button because, you know, I just don't know what to say. And I mentioned it earlier, he's transitioning from safety in college to a linebacker in the NFL. So all this film that I've been studying, it, like I said, it does not transfer very well. You know, a lot of the times he's standing back there, not doing anything. And, you know, game goes by and he doesn't really make many plays. Um, I think he does play pretty well in the box on the few chances that he does get to be up there. And one of the big things I like about him is he's pretty good at shedding blocks, which will translate really well to the linebacker position. So here's where things start to get a little promising. Um, we're getting into the red zone here. So Tanner Muse is obviously going to be playing a little bit closer to the line. So we're going to get to see a little bit more of that linebacker style, you know. And he does a great job in coverage here against number 82. Doesn't give him any room. Sticks right on his hip. That's a solid job. 
being that hybrid safety type guy, he's going to be expected to cover these quicker tight ends. So let's get into gap filling and block shedding. These next couple plays are going to show you a little bit of what he can do at the line. Um, sometimes he does get pushed out by a smaller tight end, but on this play he does a good job of fighting a big boy to fill that gap. And he doesn't make the play, but he does his job here. Again, he's not going to make the play this time either, but you're going to see him undercut the block and get right through there pretty much seamlessly. And if that first guy misses the tackle, he would have been there to clean it up for sure. And playing linebacker, man, that's what he's going to be doing all game. Shedding blocks, filling gaps. So there is some promising things here. I don't want this whole video to be negative. I'm sure you guys are going to flame me in the comments, but that's okay. You know, this is what I do here. I'm going to give my opinion and I want to interact with you guys. You know, I want to hear what you guys have to say about Muse, what you guys think after watching a little bit of the film and hearing my take on it. You know, I'm curious. What do you guys think about Muse? Are you on the Tanner tip? Or are you skeptical? You know, I'm just trying to be as real as possible with you guys. I'm a diehard Raider fan, and I know we all think every draft pick is going to turn out to be amazing. Um, but I got to ground myself here and be level-headed and give my honest opinion on this guy. Right now, I'm just not sold. I think he's got potential, but it's going to be a few years down the line. Like I said, a lot of you guys were telling me in the comments, oh, you know, look out for Muse. He's going to be starting by midseason. And, um, you know, I, I had to give my honest take on it. And honestly, I think we're better off with Markel Lee. I think the guy has shown a lot of promise. He's, you know, battled injuries here and there. So if Markel Lee can stay healthy, he's going to be starting. And then, you know, Morrow's going to be bouncing around in there. I think we're going to see a little bit of Tanner Muse here and there. But, I mean, don't expect this guy to be starting or even have a big role this year. I think it's going to take a couple years for him to adjust the system and the position. Against Texas A&M, he played in the box a lot more than he did against uh, Alabama. And, you know, we got to see a little bit more of his linebacker style of play. And frankly, this is a terrible job. Terrible read. He looks totally lost. You could argue he's going to contain the quarterback on the bootleg, but he looks right at the running back when he gets the ball and then changes direction twice. He's going to give us another pretty bad read here. Um, the gap's there. He doesn't really go to fill it. He's not too aggressive on this play. And like I said, there's a lot of room for improvement. I want to end this video on somewhat of a good note. Uh, I think Muse is a pretty decent tackler. And, you know, he can lay the wood every once in a while. And I like that he plays with some swagger. But at the same time, it's like he turns it on and he turns it off. You know, if he makes a tackle, he's hyped up. And then on other plays, if he's not really in the play, he kind of slacks off, it looks like. So I'd like to see him bring that swag and that attitude on every single play. You know, and treat every single play like it's his last. You know, I think he's going to be a fun guy to watch if he does that. Let's go over his 2019 stats real quick before we get out of here. He had 36 solo tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks, and 4 picks. So nothing too special, not bad, not great. So we'll just have to wait and see what he's got on the field. I think he's going to be mostly a special teams guy. Um, we're going to see him a few downs here and there, but... I don't think he's going to get a lot of playing time on defense. And as always, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, hit the like button. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. I appreciate all you guys. Um, and I really love hearing from you. So, you know, I know I'm going to get some flack for this. I already know Raider Nation is going to give me some hell for this video. But I had to shoot it straight, man. That's the way I am. I tell the truth. You know, I speak from the heart. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. And uh, until next time, peace out, Raider Nation. Much love.